Praise God, my dear friends. Good morning, wherever you are. It's a beautiful morning and a beautiful day God has made for you and I will rejoice and be glad in it. My dear friends, we are in the month of March. And the theme in the month of March is gladness for sorrow and double for shame. And we have been looking at this as we journey through the year, progressing through every day as God keeps on to bless us and lift us. Then bring about you are the Lord's arrows and bows. You're the Lord's arrows and bows. As Zechariah chapter 9 verse 12 tells us this. It says something very, very interesting. It says, Return to your stronghold, all prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore you double. I will restore you double. For I have bent Judah as my bow and I have made Ephraim its arrow. You know, and I love this scripture so much because it says, return to your safe place. Return to your hiding place. Return to the place that the Lord has put for you. And the Lord is saying that I will give you double. This is a guarantee. And I like the fact that it says that we are prisoners of hope. Being a prisoner of hope, my dear friends, means that we are choosing not to give up on the promises of God. We are choosing not to give up on what the Lord has said he will do for us. We are choosing not to give up on the fact that God is faithful and that God is true. When the Bible says that we are prisoners of hope because remember that faith is a substance of things hoped for. And the enemy, one thing he does very, very much is to try and make you lose hope. But when you lose hope, then you stop being effective in the things of God. Here the Bible is telling us that the Lord turns us to be effective. That we become his weapons. We become um, tools that, that the Lord can use to fulfill his purpose. This morning, my, de my dear friends, I'm praying for all of you. That may the Lord strengthen you. May he give you double. May you remain to be a prisoner of hope. Because my dear friend, the Bible says hope does not disappoint. But we hope in the Lord aggressively, passionately, diligently. Knowing that the Lord will transform us and renew us. And make us that which he desired us to be. Let us pray. Father, I thank you and I bless you for this day. I thank you for the gift of life and your spirit and your goodness. I pray the Lord this morning we strengthen your sons and daughters, Lord. The Lord said, the Lord, they are your bows and arrows. May everyone, Lord, that is watching this morning, may they be useful to your kingdom. May they be effective, Lord, to your works and to your wonders. May they see your power prevail in their lives in the, in the name of Jesus. I thank you that, Father, you are wonderful, you are powerful, and you are great. And the Lord, you'll give double for everything that, Lord, we have gone through. In Jesus' name, praying thanksgiving. Amen. My dear friends, do stay blessed. I believe I'll see you again next time, same time.